Welcome back on the Space Info YouTube channel. So, thanks for being here. Today it will be a, a video which is a little different from the usual ones that you're used to because our friends from Dwarf Lab have sent us a present where, well, not really a little present, it's, it's a big one because today I have two boxes and I want to show you the content. So, if you are following us on our social uh, channels, like the Instagram channel at spaceinfo.club, you have probably already seen the content of this unboxing. But today I want to bring everything outside from those two boxes and show you the content. So let's start from the small one. And the first one is uh, uh, an accessory. And you can see it's from Dwarf Lab. And here you can see the content. It's a tripod, uh, it has an hydraulic head and it's very, very special because of the content of the second box. So let's um, get rid of this one as the first one. So you can see that apart from the package, which is really, really well done, uh, the content is even better. You can see that you have a little sack, rack sack within it and let's get to the point so we have the tripod also an allen key to trim everything and this is a super professional looking at it is actually uh, a tripod so let's get it out i will leave the spec here on the screen for later and you can see that it has a lot of parameters a lot of uh, little things that can be regulated extensible legs all of them you can also open very very wide the whole tripod with this locks mechanism they are really strong and also very precise and all the controls all the screws are really really well done super top quality you can feel by touching it it's super well done you can also lock and unlock legs of the tripods all of them you have a little support here and the most important things the fine tuning regulations. Maybe you cannot see from the camera, but I am going to show you. Uh, you have the degrees here on this uh, round gear here. Also the lock mechanism. It's a, uh, a sort of screw that you can screw and unscrew to force lock and unlock the azimuth of the tripod. Then you can also lock and unlock very precisely with all the screws, the rotational mechanism. And while I'm touching it, I'm really feeling the hydraulic support of the thing. Well, you can maybe show and appreciate from the video that you, if you give a strong movement, very rapid, all the thing is smoothed out by the hydraulic dumping of the mechanism. Very robust. You have uh, also the regulation of the handle and then also the regulation of all the angles that you on where you can act. You have degrees for precise tuning here also, and for sure it's branded dwarf lab. You can remove the head here, and uh, it's very fast, very precise. You can also move forward and backward for fine adjusting, and also you have a, a standard pace screw here to screw and lock your well telescope yes because now it's time for the strong piece so let's now get back to the strong part as you can see you well, i have received all in unbranded boxes which uh, then contain the real one so this is the box and i can tell you for sure that there was a plastic cover here but i couldn't resist so I have already uh, gave a little look inside. As you can see here, Dwarf Lab. You can also already see all the features. Some other features here, what's in the box. And well, let's see if this is true, but yeah, I have already checked it. This is the product and it's amazing. Let's open it. So you can see that you already find everything and I have to tell you that I found these inside this white box with additional plastic cover so everything was well protected, quality is super high, they have a great attention to their product 
So it's really amazing. This is uh, a bag that you can bring uh, with yourself within everything you need from the telescope. And also there is a space for the tripod that I'm using here to record with the, with the camera. So by opening the zip here, you find already the important one. But yeah, I'm leaving this for later. Let's see what's inside this box. So you can already find here uh, a dwarf flap pack and inside there is a plastic one. Yeah, I haven't opened this already, so I'm doing this now. And I can already tell you that they are magnetic solar filters, as you can see here. So uh, one of the function of this telescope is that you can take and observe, take photos and observe the sun. And these are the two filters too, because you have two uh, optics that you can cover with this filter when you are observing and taking uh, pictures and, uh, uh, and acquire the, the sun basically. So let's keep them protected and then I'll show you how they are mounted. So let's leave them here and additional things. So you have the USB-C to USB-C uh, charging cable, then uh, a little pen to, co to clean everything and yeah the instruction manual one of the important things of this instruction manual that is the fact that it has a qr code inside that you can use to download and install on your smartphone the, app the application for app store google play and everything else for your telescope the important thing of this telescope is that it's a smart one so you can very super easily connect the application and enjoy your observation directly from your smartphone. Now, here you have an accessory for your bag, so it's more easily transportable. But I know what you are waiting for. You're waiting for the strong one. So let's get it out. You can already see here that it has on the um, lower part, a speaker and a microphone, of which I'm going to remove, yeah, plastic cover. And this is our telescope. It's a smart telescope, dwarf lab. You have um, the control on the right. It's just one single push button and nothing else here. There is, this is the base which you can rotate manually just to position your telescope on the support and also the part with the lenses. You have to open it manually like this and then everything is actuated by the electrical motors inside the case of the telescope because one of the function is start tracking and autonomous acquisition of your targets. So you can point the telescope through your application to a target in the sky and then acquire it. So let's remove this plastic cover. It's such a nice sensation. And you can see that you have two spots here. One uh, optics is wide angle as it's written here and one other is telephoto. Then I will tell you a little more about the uh, technical specs of this thing. Now I'm just going to show you how you can position the uh, sun filters. They are magnetic, so it's just enough to leave them uh, laying on the optics. Through magnetic connections, they are positioned and it's super easy. You can remove them and position in such an easy way. So everything is super intuitive, super easy. It's a smart telescope. So in a few seconds, I'm showing you how to connect it to the application. It's just enough to push this, this button and it's just powered on, green light and the telescope takes life. Okay, so let's just pair uh, the application. So the smartphone with the telescope. First things first, uh, you can see the pairing request connection. The uh, the device is uh, is on for sure. You can see the green light 
full battery. Okay, you can see now that uh, it's been found just basically in a very few seconds going to happen. Let's see how fast it is. Uh, for sure, I'm showing you everything on screen. Uh, it, the dwarf lab, the dwarf tree creates its own Wi Fi net. You can access it, and the connection is such an easy thing. And let's start. So you can see that you can basically set everything uh, on uh, the screen of the application. It's photo mode, 104 gigabytes free, the memory 91% of, um, of the battery. It's such a huge memory capability. And you can see the scheduling, you can see yeah, you, because you can schedule the acquisition of the events. It's a smart one, so it's super easy. You have an Atlantis. You can uh, download the database of the constellations. You have the galleries and the settings. So localization, general, and yeah, the account, my device. This is my device. And uh, basically, this is it. So now this is what I'm showing you. I can see on the screen uh, what's seeing the telescope for sure. Now I am recording everything in the room. So uh, well, forgive me for the very poor quality that you will see. A uh, little tutorial, I can just skip it. You have the joystick and as you see, um, Maybe you can see it better here. As I move the joystick, beautiful joystick on the screen, while well, the telescope is tilting and also panning. So you can see that the bots, the electrical motors, it's the very first time I see uh, it this on this kind of device, they are working. You have the temperature already, uh, 28 degrees centigrade, it's quite reliable, this is it. You can adjust the autofocus you can zoom in zoom out and you can take photo and you have the different um, settings i will show you separately all the modes of uh, this device in dedicated videos this is uh, like well uh, 6 pm so it's not the right time to acquire some astronomy things so there are different parameters you can set, you can uh, target and chase an object, you can chase the sun or the moon, those are some of the features that we have. Um, oh, so if you target something, you can define something on the screen and it will target uh, very, very precisely. So I think that now you have just a very very uh, fast overlook on the application so i hope that you enjoyed this unboxing so stay tuned for further videos one on the specs of this telescope one on the modes and acquisitions that will take for most of uh, astronomical photos so thanks for being here today with us and uh, see you next time